you know? I guess I've always been hesitant, especially in today's world, because yep. people just get weird about you coming up to their house. Sure. Like, I don't like when people come to my house, so I don't do it to people. Mm -hmm. But it seems like, do you, do you feel like your accent disarms people? If it's a 60-year-old lady, yes. So, um, <laughs> and I, I'm 60 and do, he's right. I do very well with the... Uh, the, the older the, girl. The, the charm. The, the older girls. Um, no, but it does. It, uh, it definitely does disarm it because, yeah. you know, people are intrigued. Yeah. You, you know, I, I've been out, you know, we would, I, I talked to a lot of people out in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, the Hawaiian culture is very different. Mm -hmm. And the idea of me speaking to a 65-year-old Hawaiian guy that's lived out there on his on the island, your average American is going to have challenges talking about their house and their, their their problems. But it feels like people are just a little bit intrigued because you're not the norm, mm. you know. But I, I mean, if I don't even realize I'm doing it, but my wife tells me all the time. I I walk the streets. I walk up to somebody's door. I'm whistling as I'm doing it. I'm, <laughs> you know. But I'm respectful. I'll I'll ring the doorbell. I will be back ten feet. I will step far enough away to not feel or not be seen in any way as threatening. Sure. You know, I'm not dressed in a in a suit, you mm -hmm. know, looking like I'm from the bank, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know, but I'm, I'm also dressed smart and I'm very respectful. And, you know, we took a little bit of time off of door knocking during COVID, you know, just again, because you Some know, people get freaked out about we it. We needed yeah. to. But but again, I'm, you know, now I get, you know, I one when you've door knocked houses that are in foreclosure, where these people are getting hounded by scammers, by everybody in the business, when you can door knock people in foreclosures, door knocking and talking about buying and selling houses is easy. Right. It's, it's a piece of cake. It's just a conversation. And you know, of course, you're always going to get the odd person that's not happy to see you because they don't like seeing anybody. But it's... Uh, John. You know, if uh, I, you know, I, I, I used to be the one that hid behind the sofa. I used to be the one that, yeah. oh, I'm a renter. No, I don't need any solar. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. You know, but now I, I entertain all of these conversations, even if I, I know I'm not going to buy it, but I, you know, I, I've entertained conversations from agents that come to the door because I know it's daunting. And if that person is, you know, you only need one good conversation to feel good about yourself. Mm. So I entertain everybody that comes to the door and I'll talk about things and then I'll hit them with, I'm a renter, like right at the very end because I don't want to buy, you, you know, that kind of thing. But uh, <laughs> no, it's how you door knock is how you feel if somebody door knock you. Sure. And, you know, if, if you don't like people coming to your door at six o'clock at night, you're never going to go to somebody else's door at six o'clock at night. Right. But it's, it's just for me an avenue. It's, uh, it's exercise as well. Three yeah, hours pounding the pavement. Talking to homeowners, passing out information, and uh, well, door knocking know. is probably one of the quickest ways to get business, just yep. because you're in the trenches, literally. You yep. know, a lot of people will do the fancy online campaigns or whatever, but yep. that's a noisy world at this point with all the marketing that everybody's doing. Yep. But yeah, having, as Steve used to say, was it belly to belly, toe to toe? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Was the best way to have conversations. Yeah. And it I is. loved it. Mm -hmm. I love door knocking and whenever and I do the same thing I answer the door mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and right now I'm with my kids and they're like Shh. <laughs> 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 the dogs are barking because I'm like who's at the door yeah <laughs> and then as soon as it's a salesman I immediately go into are you what are you selling tell me your stuff I'm not going to buy it but I want it you knocked on the door good for yeah. you and <laughs> have the whole honest conversation about how brave they were to knock on the stinking door there's a lot of people that yeah. are scared of it yeah yeah it's, but, it's, it's but, it, but it is you know you want to yeah. You know, you're you're looking to work with somebody who wants to entrust you with selling their house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, and you know, especially when I go back to the foreclosure side, it is about building a level of trust with that person. There's only so much trust you can earn straight away. But you know, I've I've knocked on people's doors and I've been sat in their living room an hour and a half later with tears, with with stories because you know when when somebody steps out and said. You know, I was praying last night for somebody to show up and help me, and here you are. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. You can't not, like, okay, I'm here. What, what can I do? How can I help you? How can I serve you? So, you know, I see an opportunity to, you know, again, I look at selling people's houses as serving them. They mm -hmm. need to sell. Yeah. They need a realtor that's going to give them the attention and the care that, that they deserve. Yeah. And, you know, I, I can't be too busy for my, you know, for my 
for my people, for my, uh, my my clients, my sellers, my buyers. So I I do pride myself on having a level of empathy for homeowners. Um, now I'm you know I've moved into divorces right now as well, specialising in divorces, which is not an easy conversation, mm -hmm. but it is a monster lead source. Sure, you know it's a sad story. People get divorced, but what is it? 70, 80 percent of them need to then sell. I mean, it's a lead source. So yeah. I, I'm, I'm spread over a couple of different lead sources. But if I can, you know, any opportunity to go out and meet people, talk to people, you know, I get away with it because of the accent. Yes, <laughs> you know, my wife hates it when. Um, you know, we're in the store and, hi, how are you? Oh, you have such a lovely accent. <laughs> and she stood right there, you know, and she'll say, I have an accent as two, you know, <laughs> yeah, but yours is, yours is, yeah, 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 yeah. Yours yeah, is Mexican, <laughs> like, you know, 70% of California, you know, so it's, uh, yeah, you know, so, but it's, yeah, 